In this experiment, a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, a CO2 engine and a Stirling engine will be studied. Their energy conversion efficiencies will be determined and then a comparison between the three will be made. In the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, an electrolyzer is used to generate the hydrogen and oxygen needed to power the cell. The electrolyzer is driven by a power supply. Once set up appropriately, you'll be able to see the hydrogen and oxygen being generated in the electrolyzer to the left of the screen as bubbles which are captured in the chamber above. By recording the time, current, voltage and volume of hydrogen produced, we can determine the energy required to produce one mil of hydrogen fuel. Once sufficient hydrogen has been generated, the electrolyzer is switched off and the fuel cell connected. This powers a small electric fan and again the time, the voltage, the current and the volume of hydrogen are monitored so that we can calculate how much energy is produced by the fuel cell per milliliter of hydrogen. In this experiment, a reservoir of dry ice is connected to a CO2 engine. As the dry ice sublimes, it generates gas which drives the engine. The engine is connected to a dynamo so that we can again measure the energy output as voltage current time. The amount of dry ice that's sublimed will enable us to work out the work put into the system. The Stirling engine being investigated is driven by hot water. If the temperature of the top plate of the engine, the temperature of the hot water and the rotation rate of the engine are monitored as a function of time, then the energy in and out for the system can be evaluated.